Hello again, everyone. Kata Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, the premier source for North America softwood lumber, construction framing building materials, uh, coming to you from Vancouver, British Columbia, right there in the middle of July, as we are into what would normally be slower time for lumber sales. And indeed, this is the case as uh, prices have dropped quite a bit over the past few weeks, uh, uh, month or so, uh, from those incredible highs that we were talking about, you know, back in May. So tomorrow, uh, U.S. Housing Starts data comes out, and that lets us know a lot, especially the uh, permits uh, for the single-family building. Um, and for the past year or so, the U.S. data has tracked quite closely to the Canadian data, and uh, Canadian Housing Starts came out last week, and it's down a little bit. Uh, however, house prices are up. House prices in Canada are up 25% compared to one year ago. Uh, so the U.S. Uh, home sales and house price data comes out next week. Um, we'll see if it's uh, similar to what's happening in Canada, but I would expect that it is. Now, people are uh, commenting on this and they're sort of uh, saying they're trying to call, you know, that there was a bubble or we are in a bubble and the bubble's bursting. Not a bubble. I've told you before, this is real demand for actual construction projects. There's no stockpiling, there's no inventory building. The same could be said for housing, but it's a little bit more complicated as that's um, turning out to be quite regional. Some areas like Texas, California, uh, different parts of uh, the U.S. that normally don't necessarily attract um, a lot of housing activity apart from the rest of the country. This is coming down to some extremely interesting um, characteristics of the tax situation. I did a story on that a while ago. Do check my website. I've got a link in my caption. And go to my website and uh, under the uh, menu there, subscribe, uh, fill out the form to get a sample of the full lumber price newsletter uh, data which is 450 individual uh, softwood lumber dimension boards, uh, plywood OSB prices that comes out every Friday. The subscribers get to uh, read what's happening with the market on time. They don't have to wait a week or two or a month later uh, as I'm able to put on the website or make a YouTube. So where are the prices? I know everybody wants to know that. Get to the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So prices are down a lot. The Benchmark, as I talk about quite often, Western Spruce Pine Fir KD 2x4, number 2 and better price. Right now, what we printed, as I was saying, to the dashboard uh, on Friday, July the 16th, is $1 off what it was one year ago. So that price right now is US $555 per thousand board feet compared to one year ago, this exact week, last year, 2020, when it was US $554 per thousand board feet. Uh, and let's look at the graph. It'll You'll be able to see how the two lines meet exactly at this time. Now, remember, one year ago, the prices were going up, you know, not ever precedented, completely not understandable, and then now they've been going down. So let's go to the graph. I'll show you the graph right now and talk about it a little bit more, and then I'll come back to explain. I am going to do a video right now about plywood. People are asking about plywood. I'm so happy to know they're listening and reading what I'm saying, that plywood is a good forward indicator of uh, lumber prices. And like I've said, lumber is a good forward indicator of housing. Um, so there was an issue with plywood production that uh, lasted for most of this year, had to do with um, materials, the resin or the glue that the uh, both plywood and OSB um, uh, manufacturers use to glue the materials together. And it seems to have worked itself out as more importantly than the price correcting down, but the order files at the plywood and OSB mills are coming back to what we would consider normal, where, you know, a month or two ago, they were way out into August and into October for the plywood mills, which has never happened before. You knew that that was going to correct. So let's go to the graphs and have a good look at what the situation is 
right now. Okay, so and this is what I was saying. This year is the blue line. Look at how exactly it meets the yellow line of last year, except for last year it was going up, and this year it's been coming down. So what does that mean? Nobody knows. Look at the huge run-up of prices uh, just now for um, the past couple of months and what happened at the end of last year, October and such, in 2020. Um, so this correction down, potentially too far down. We don't know if the prices will land where they are and flatten out or go further down or go up more. What we do know is where prices are right now compared to, you know, last week and last month. If you look in the middle there, you see the studs, Western Spruce 2x4, flat prices uh, this week compared to the week before. Does that indicate where the market is going? We don't know yet, but you can't build a house without studs. You can't build a house without some kind of 2x4, and you can't build a house without some kind of panel, either plywood or OSB. So if studs are flat, maybe prices are going to start leveling off. So what does this tell you? I mean, it really works best when uh, all the data is put together. Um, sometime this week when I am able to get away from my computer, I will do a video of the um, sawmill capacity utilization rates that I like to use from the Western Wood Products Association, softwood lumber production from Canada, US. Data is out for April now. Um, it's an improvement over March, as I was suggesting that it will be. Uh, if you look at my website, madisonsreport.com, you can see that story, but I'll explain it in a video sometime this week when I can do that. Um, but right now, the lumber prices um, comparison, as I was saying, uh, how the Western Spruce is um, meeting exactly where it was uh, at this time last year. The plywood prices, um, the table that I was just showing you, uh, prices are down 12% to um, Canadian, $1,080 per thousand square feet. And that last year at this time was $654. Okay. And OSB down 21% to, again, Canadian, $1,300 per thousand square feet, down from $470 at this time last year. So, I mean, if I was to kind of try to think about it, I would say that dimension lumber prices are more quickly approaching where the market is able to bear right now. And OSB and plywood might have a little bit more downside room uh, in the coming weeks. Those prices might continue to fall a little bit um, delayed, as I was saying, because of the um, problem with the manufacturing process. Um, and those studs, I'm not really sure. I mean, 2x4s get used for more than just building. And so does plywood. There's other uses. Studs, you know, construction framing, um, they're not really used for anything else except for home building. So that's going to be really interesting to see in the coming weeks where those prices are. And I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, that's as much as I can say. The order files at the Dimension Lumber Sawmills have shrunk. And those um, producers are right now more motivated to extend their order files again as they were, you know, six weeks, I told you, back in April and May, uh, rather than they are concerned about the price. Um, so there's this play going on between the customer and the uh, producer. Um, where the customer is trying to talk the price down and the sawmills are accepting these counter offers to a certain point in order to book their production further out. We'll see if it works. Like I said, normally a sawmill is not building an order file at this time of year. In fact, in the eastern Canada, Quebec, the uh, producers are going into their uh, two or three week seasonal break where everybody goes on vacation. Um, the resellers, the wholesalers at this time are undercutting the sawmills. So there's a two-tier market. And if the secondary supplier has the wood that the customer is looking for, they are selling below what the sawmills are selling for. Again, that might correct because it all comes down to supply and demand. And like I said, no one is building inventory. So the 
resellers and the wholesalers and the reloads might end up getting themselves into quite a situation where they've um, sold wood at a lower price. And if prices go up in the next weeks or so, we'll have to buy at a higher replacement cost from the sawmills, which has happened before. So we'll only know when it happens. Check back often. Uh, go to my website, madisonsreport.com, and read the stories, what I've been saying. I'll be back um, right now with a video for the plywood and OSB prices.